mind burner, Bob. How'd you miss that one? It's a damn red or something. I mean, I just threw him in there. Yeah. First drift, Bob just went right through there. Oh, he's trying to bust me off, this one. He is trying to bust me off. Oh, Bob, you want to have this bench? Okay, here you go. I, I, I'm feeling so guilty. And I should. I mean, we got to, I mean, right there. It went down, right there. Oh my God. I mean, that, that's not good mojo. But then, some people do say that I have the mojo. Okay, let me net. I'm only supposed to be playing back up here. Oh man. This sure acted like a damn redfish there, Bob. Oh hell yeah. Might be a keeper. That's pretty good for five minutes of fishing. That's pretty good. Five minutes on the spot. We haven't even been, have we actually fished for five minutes yet? No. I think, hold on a second here. Bob did one drift, I did a half a drift. Look at that. Y'all buy me. Woo! 28 inches. What can they, what can they be? 20, under 27. As I tell everybody, I catch them you either get them out here too small or too big. One inch, one inch over, 28 inches. So he's got to do this. Came off. Son of a bitch. Oh, he broke you off. You can feel sprayed all the way down the leader. Alright, Bob's got himself a red bass on. See the cameraman gets to catch one every once in a while. Come on! Oh yeah, boy. We... The cameraman gets to get one. Woo! -hoo -hoo. My cork went down. No, it may not be a kill. All right, thank you, Bob. Well, that ain't a keeper. All right. There we go, another non keeper. Yep, 29 incher. 29 inches.
Yes, sir. It gets to go. Back! Cameraman gets to get one every once in a while. <laughs> Bob's hooked up again! Keep your rod tip up, Bob. Keep your rod tip up, baby. Because he's going to bury you want to get you in the rocks. Woo I say that big old red bass are back in the pocket, huh? Them RBs are in the pocket. See, I, I knew this would cure my head cold. <laughs> yes, sir. I've been down and out for a couple days with a head cold, trying to get better for when Bob shows up. We never have a bad day, Dave. No, we never have a bad day together. Bob is, if you don't recognize Bob, he is the one who's like the star of the uh, video that's on my home page right now, where it's it's called Jetty Life, where Bob's nailing the big, tro big trophy trouts. Oh man, this is a big ass fish. Oh, God, that's a big-ass fish. Oh, yeah, that's a big red. Oh, oh, Bob, watch, he's going to get around there. Oh, Bob. Whew, man, he's wanting to dive into the damn trim tabs. Okay, come here. Yeah, I'm try trying to do cameraman and net man all at the same time. Beautiful fish. I'm gonna say 29 inches. What do you think? 30. 30 inches? Yeah. Put them on down there and let's see. You're right. 29. A little over 29. 29 some change. You pinch the tail all the way. All right. Well, here, take that off of him. Let her give him a fly. Oh. Let me just pick him up. Burning down the house. Burning down the house. <laughs> yeah, this is curing my head cold. I'd be I'd be really happy if there were uh, three to five pound trout. That's for damn sure. But as usual, you know, you're always struggling to catch a trout out here. They just don't seem to be as thick as they were last year at this time, that's for sure. And as large. All right. Let's do it again. It is literally the next cast. Bob's hooked up again. He's letting his float drift into... I would say dangerous territory. And it's going down every time. <laughs> I think you figured it out, Bob. I think he, he done figured out where the fish are. <laughs> I watched that one go down too, boy. That was good. As they say, there ain't nothing like watching the float disappear.
Lucky with kingfish, lucky with redfish. Bob was just telling me about catching what, twin 30? Yeah. Twin 30 pound kingfish right off the end of the north jetty over there. We're on the south jetty now. And I've always thought, how come I ain't catching no kingfish over there? You know, I got baits out behind the boat. This guy comes in, pulls two 30 pounders out of there. During the kingfish tournaments, Oh yeah, that's nice red, another oversized one. Brutus T, red bass. Bob's on again. Well, they sure do love going to my trim tab, don't they? Ah, another one. Another one. A keeper. That's it. Okay, calm down, buddy. Yes, sir. Look at that. We're talking like a half inch, quarter inch. Yeah. All right. Bob's second keeper. If he keeps catching them that way, if Bob keeps catching them just like this, we'll be we'll be having a fish fry. All righty, in the coffin he goes. The redfish coffin. I wish it was a trout coffin. Eh. Mom always said beggars can't be choosers. Okay, Bob's got another. Every time I go and throw a jig, Bob hooks one on the god dang float rig. Right there. Super spotter. There, change the other side. Let's see this other side too. Oh, super spotter. Okay, I'm taking a lunch break, eating my carrots like a good boy, and Bob's back here slam dunking them. Bob just caught a monster seven striped jetty snapper. Come on, <laughs> Bob. Six and a half pounder. Good. All right, Bob's breaking in new rods. Bob's breaking into twenty dollar rods from Academy Sports. <laughs> Thank you. 
and the new Dial Assaultist HC Auto Engaging Reel. I guess I better get the uh, net, huh? Oh yeah, big old boy. Boy, have we seen a few of these today, Bob? We have. I think he showed up at non-trout time. I think he showed up at red bass time. Okay. Okay, these ought to be even a little bigger since they're coming from the bottom out deep. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Okay. He done swallowed it too. One more 12 pounder. All right, hold him up. One more time. Big red bass on the bottom of the St. John's River. This is some brown, nasty, nasty water coming. We always talk about that Mississippi. I stood looking at the Mississippi, and guess what? That damn water looks exactly like this. Right in downtown New Orleans. Man, brown mud. Okay, Bob's on again. Bob's big redfish day. Hey, I'll tell you, I'll tell you something. Bob's had bigger and more redfish than this before, let me tell you. Yeah, up in that Clay Hamblin spot, yeah. whatever that was. Oh, you look back at my videos and you see this guy, he's, we've, we've been out clobbered them. Giants, giant red bass in, the, in April too. Well, maybe we'll catch a drum. Maybe we'll catch a drum or something. Another big red bass. Woo, he jumped right in the net. I like that. When you squeeze him, he's 28, 28 inches. 28 incher. All right. All we're using is fresh shrimp. Pin it, taking the heads off. Threading them on a seven knot hook. There you go. And uses some fish bites because I use a lot of fish bites this time of year just to sweeten the pot, you know? So that's all we're using, nothing fancy. Taking live shrimp because I got tons of them. But the goal is a black drum. And what are we catching? Red no fish. red fish, no black drum. <laughs> oh, that was that was like a grouper hook set. Yeah, boy. I mean, he said stick it to it. Oh, I know. That's. <laughs> oh, I can't get enough people to do that. I can't get people to do that. I want them to do it all the time. I'm like, he's on it, clean as clock, and I get people going. Think. Well, they're cleaning a wristwatch. Yeah. Drum. Finally. See. That was a sandbagger, Bob. See? This fish right here, black drum sandbags. Guaranteed sandbagger. Looks like a <laughs> And Bob cleaned him right when he pulled on it hard. Okay, guess what? Here, go ahead and stick it in the rod holder. That's just what we were looking for, a nice eater drum. It's about goddamn time. Okay, let me move this over here. That's exactly what we were looking for. I don't want no damn 95 pounder. I don't want no damn 28 pounder. We want one that's an eater. Look at that hook set. Right into that big old grizzly mouth. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about.
something gnarly. Jetty sheep set and took them out. Look at the eggs. Look at the eggs in that son of a bitch. Wow. Wow. That's right. Oh my god. That has to be one of the most egg laying laden ones I've seen in a long time. And there's still no shortage of sheep's head, huh? Fifteen per person per day, huh? You just about need a chainsaw to clean that thing. Yep. Live and die for this, Bob. Live and die. Have you tried a sheep set? Where's the sheep set? <laughs> Brutus T. Red Bass. I was already choking on a red bass <laughs> bone that I left in there. <laughs> Don't choke on the bones yet there, Bob. All right. 